So this game is all about making doing wrestling promos. All right. So the way the game works is you have three people playing at a time. Two people are the wrestlers, and one person is the producer. The producer is kind of responsible for dictating the action and kind of leading the wrestlers, uh, what you know, kind of directing them and what to say, so they're not just going off the top of their heads. So the way the game works is when a round starts, each wrestler takes a card from name one and name two. On the sides of each card are words that make up their name. Okay. And they can have it be in either order that they want. So they could either be Terrifying Rascal or Rascal Terrifying. And that makes up your character for the promo. Okay. But then, a segment card is thrown. The segment card will tell you what the promo is about. So this one says, it's a rookie versus veteran match. The producer chooses which wrestler is the rookie and which is the veteran. And so that's what the promo is going to be about. We also include a city just to kind of give you more stuff to talk about because we do have cars that are like make fun of the city make fun of their so sports there's a little bit of role playing there? yeah it's all it's all about improvising and kind of doing your best to out talk your opponent the only thing that comes from young town are steers and queers right exactly <laughs> yeah. then the producer will draw three spot cards these cards are what dictates the action. So they'll say stuff like gimmick change, a speaker must rhyme for their promo, uh, a run-in, you pick an audience member to take over for the promo, and the audience members are people who aren't playing. So if you're playing in a group of six people, three people who aren't in right now, will be the audience members. And there's other spot cards like audience chants, and it'll say chant, speaker's name sucks, or they make up a chance. Then each wrestler also picks one spot card, which they can use on themselves. So over the course of the promo, the producer can play any amount of spot cards they want on either wrestler. They can play all three, none, any combination. They just have to let the wrestler react to a spot card before they can play another one, so they don't just get flooded and freeze up. Once all that Drawn. Each wrestler has 45 seconds to cut their promo, and they speak, they say what they gotta say, and after that, the audience, whoever's not playing, votes on who they want to win. If there's a tie, the producer is a tiebreaker. If you're only playing with three people, the producer decides who wins. And after that, you then rotate. Excellent. Yeah. So it's game you want to have Why do we get this done? Right. You can, yes, you can play with three people and it's fun if it's like your buddies. Uh, we might play, we play tested a couple times with groups of four to nine. And usually the more people you have, the more fun it is. Because we have a big group kind of laughing together, it's good. And if you also have people who maybe aren't so too comfortable doing it, if they see their friends doing it or the other people, by the time it gets to their turn, they'll be very into it and be more comfortable. It's kind of just saying dumb stuff and talking okay. smack. It's like, it's like this awesome. Yeah. Smack Talk Showdown. Uh, learn how to talk smack. Alex, you need this. Yeah, yeah. You, you need to learn how to talk smack to me. The only thing that comes from the Dell podcast is Nathan's hairlessness. <laughs> okay, on that note, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>